Hey everyone, this is your reading channel, Learn English with Short Stories for Beginners. Today's book, John's Routine. John is a very punctual person. He wakes up every day at 6 a.m. and then he takes a shower. After that, he eats his breakfast, which usually consists of cereal, milk, and fruits. John lives with his parents and his little sister. His sister is very talkative. She always talks a lot. John usually gets annoyed by her, but he loves her anyway. John goes to school by bus. He always arrives at the bus stop early, so he can talk with his friends before the bus arrives. The bus usually arrives at 7.30 a.m. and then John gets on the bus and goes to school. At school, John studies a lot. He likes to learn new things and he always pays attention in class. After school, he usually plays basketball with his friends. He is a very good basketball player. John's parents are very proud of him because he is a responsible boy. He always does his homework and he helps his little sister with her homework too. He is a very helpful brother. At dinner, John's family usually talks about their day. John's father tells them about his job and John's mother talks about her day at work. John and his little sister talk about their day at school. They always have a great time together. After dinner, John usually watches TV for a while and then he goes to bed. He always goes to bed at 10 p.m. because he knows that he needs enough sleep to be able to study well the next day. John's life is very simple, but he is very happy. He enjoys every moment of his life and he always tries to do his best. He knows that if he works hard, he can achieve his goals. In conclusion, John's life is an example of how a simple life can be very fulfilling. By being responsible, helpful and punctual, John has become a successful and happy person. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you again for watching and see you in next video.